Okay, let's talk about this issue of a car hitting a barrier. A car could be running into a barrier or a wall or something like that, but the car comes to a sudden stop. And it's important to understand this issue because this is a safety issue. We all drive around in cars and understanding what's safe and what isn't and for what reason is pretty important. So let's imagine a car here. Here's the road and let's draw a car. So that's the hood here and the, the windshield okay that will pass for a car here the windows okay tailpipe back there and let's suppose that there there's something here that the car hits here's a barrier this could be uh, some kind of dividing wall between lanes or something like that or it could be another car a car runs into another car which is obviously bad but which does happen okay here's a person in the car we will put his hands on the steering wheel and the car and the person are both moving forward and when the car hits the barrier the car stops right there but the person has inertia and the person tends to keep moving forward and this is the dangerous part because when the car stops the person tends to keep moving forward and there can be injury right there as the body or the head of the person hits the steering wheel or the windshield because the person's inertia tends to carry them forward at the same speed they were moving you don't stop just because the car stopped you don't stop until you're forced to stop by hitting the the steering wheel or the windshield that can cause a serious or even fatal injury so what happens um, in modern cars they have these airbags for safety which is just a great invention this airbag can pop out of the steering wheel right here and it basically provides a cushion your head can slam into the cushion um, and there's still a lot of force it doesn't necessarily feel good but it's a whole lot better than hitting the windshield or the or the steering wheel directly um, you could also imagine what might happen if there were some luggage strapped on top of the car. Say there's a, a roof rack up here and and there's some um, some suitcases and things piled up here. And when the car stops, all of this stuff on top, which was also moving forward along with the car, all of this stuff has inertia and so it tends to keep moving. And if it's not fastened on well, it could go flying off the top. Uh, when I was uh, when I was younger, there was a movie, a popular movie called Vacation, a Chevy Chase movie, and um and uh, it was a funny movie, but I'm not necessarily recommending it. There are certainly some objectionable parts in the movie, but there was a scene where the car they they drove off the road and the car went flying through the air and and hit the ground at an angle and came to an abrupt stop, and you could see all of this luggage just go flying off the front of the car, and the luggage was not propelled forward in any way. It was it was. Uh, simply moving with the car and when the car stopped it tended to keep moving because of its own inertia and it's kind of a funny scene but it was just a great example of inertia you can just see the things that are moving tend to stay moving and you can also see this in videos of crash tests when when people design and build automobiles they test them to make sure they are crash worthy and they put a crash test dummy in the car and they'll slam it into the barrier. They'll ruin a brand new car or sometimes multiple brand new cars to do these safety tests. And they'll, they'll film this and study this in slow motion. And they put a, a crash test dummy here that has approximately the same size and weight and flexibility as a human body. And they'll slam the car into the barrier and you can see these slow motion videos of the car the front end gets crushed up here and the car stops all of a sudden and then the person you can see their head and shoulders they, they fly forward because of their own inertia and then the airbag deploys and stops them and they can test the safety of the vehicle the, the crash worthiness in a front end collision and the effectiveness of the airbag but you can see very clearly the inertia carrying the person forward especially when these uh, these videos are done in slow motion